everyone. I'm finally going to show you how I line my boxes. I know it's been a while since I said I would do it, but I'm finally getting able to do it. I'm working on a fabric covered box and I'm going to cover the inside. Now, um, the way that I cover the uh, line the inside of my boxes, I actually um, learned how to do this by watching um, oh goodness, what is her channel? The Passion for Craft my passion for craft oh no but she was actually lining some Fabergé style um, eggs that were beautiful and I was like oh, I love how that looks and so I've been lining my boxes like that ever since because it's like a ruching inside and I like the way that that looks so I really wish I had a cream colored fabric for this but I don't I like to use um, you know satiny type a fabric to line the boxes and I only have um, white and like a I don't even know platinum I guess that would be I really wish I had a cream one but I don't this will have to do okay so what I do is I cut the fabric so that I have about an inch overhang all around okay I know it's more like an oval but it really won't matter so once I get it cut to where I want, I fold it and I find out where the middles, the middle is on both sides and I mark them. Okay. Now let's see the middle of this one and I'm totally guesstimating. It's okay. It does not have to be precise. And then I'm going to mark it here. All right. So I have um it quartered basically now i've done the same thing in the box and i've made a little pencil mark for the quarter so i quartered the box and the fabric and i think jake's been hanging out up here a little bit or something i'm not trying to have cat hair all over the inside of my box let's get my computer out of the picture a little more working space all right so i'm basically going to take the pencil mark that I've made and I'm going to line it up with the pencil mark inside the box and I'm going to hot glue it. Now when I glue this down, if you want to, you can fold this over so there's no raw edge at all. Um, but I am going to put a trim around to cover the raw edge so I'm not going to cut glue all the way to the edge of the box. I'm going to glue probably I don't know what is that maybe a quarter of an inch down so that I can put the trim on and it'll cover up the um, edge because see I already have so much um, it's already fraying real quick. so I'm going to just put some hot glue and come down and press it okay so hopefully you can see where I've glued that See that didn't come up to the edge and down here that way I can lay a trim on top and you won't see the raw edge. And glue string. Alright, so since I did this side, I want to do the opposite side now. So I've got my pencil mark. I found my pencil mark on my box. And I am going to put some hot glue there. Make sure I don't come up too far and glue it. That's on that side. All right, and now we're going to do the other two pencil marks. Let me find them. There it is. <clears throat> There's the one on the box. Make sure to go down enough. I love how these get all like poofy. <clears throat> They're so pretty. So let's do the same side thing on this side. Where's the pencil mark? There it is. All right, now you've got this mess in here. So let's. All right, so. I have um, between this quarter and this quarter, I'm going to find the middle. 
and then I'm going to guesstimate the middle and I'm going to glue this down. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and mark if you want to be precise, but really it just it isn't going to matter in the end. So I'm going to guesstimate where the middle is and I'm going to glue that down right there. So now I have these two. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing to each quarter. So here's the other quarter. And I want to find the middle. Guesstimate that's about the middle right there. And then guesstimate about where the middle of the box is. There we go. I'm trying to be um, somewhat quiet because everybody in my house is still asleep. We're having a lazy Sunday morning. <clears throat> it's finally raining in Georgia. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, here's where I'm guessing the half mark to be. Right there. Okay, we should have one more to do. Okay, so about right there is the middle of that. Oh, I'm totally out of shot. I am sorry. <clears throat> Sometimes I have to lean it up against me, so maybe I should fix it up a little bit. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is it's like the same, you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again until you get to a point where you can't do that anymore, and then you're going to do something different. So I'm going to find the middle. Eyeball the middle of the box and then glue it. All the way around. It's so, so pretty this way, but it does get a little, um, cumbersome because you got so much fabric inside. And you don't have to put as much as I do if you don't want to. But I like it like that. Alright, so I'm just pulling up, finding the middle. Finding the middle in between the two that are glued. And gluing it there. Kind of, sort of. Because it's going to be all um, squished inside, it really doesn't have to be exact. So just you know, have fun with it. Don't get bogged down in the, having it perfectly in the middle and all that. Close trees. using hot glue because you need immediate hold when you're doing this. If you tried to do this with Fabri-Tac, you just, you'd end up a mess, my friends. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I think this one's the last one. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. No. Okay, so if you pull, now you come through your little loops. If you, they, you still can pull back and find a middle and glue it down, do that. And some of these are really still big enough for me to do that, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish that up. Is that really looks best if you can get as many of those in as you can. Also makes it easier when you're doing the finishing <coughs> when you're doing the finishing bit. So so I'm gluing these down and see how it's starting to close up the big gaps like we have right here. Oh I can't get even get my finger in there big gaps. Here's one, the closest one next. 
See, these are, I couldn't do it again if I wanted to on these. So let's finish up these. That's the label. I hate it when my computer turns into screensaver and I can't see what I'm doing. And you might learn better from her than you are from me, so I will put the link below to uh, the Fabergé egg lining tutorial that I watched a few years ago. That has now led me to line all my boxes in this in this manner. Hmm. I don't know what we're doing there. I'm gonna try to get it in there anyway. I just love the way that's looking. So, 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 so pretty. But I know that I promised to show you a long time ago, so I thought, well, while I'm doing this box, I will not speed through this part and show you exactly what it is I'm doing. And I hope that it helps. You know, some people like, um, their boxes to be covered flat. You want the fabric to be flat. I, I don't. I much prefer this beautiful, puffy, ruffly. I don't even know what you want to call it. It's just pretty. Let's just call it pretty. Gun down, it makes so much noise. I wonder if I wake anybody up. The longer they sleep, the more peaceful my morning is. Damn. I love them to pieces, but I also love my quiet time. But I made some cinnamon rolls, so maybe that will deter them once they actually do get up. Mama can dream. We're getting there. I'm so much seems still doing the same thing I was doing, pulling it out, finding the middle, and then gluing it into the middle space between the last two glued space parts. What? That didn't make sense to me, so I'm sure it didn't make sense to you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, see how it's looking? So cute. Okay, now we're really at a point where we cannot pull it out and find the middle and glue it down anymore. Wow, I have got my glue strings. I'd use my heat gun to remove the glue, glue strings, but I'm afraid it'll be too loud. <laughs> All right, so... Here's what we're going to do now is we're going to just start gluing these down to the box. So like I have that sticking up right there. I'm going to come on the side of it and add a little piece of glue, a little piece, a little dot of glue, and then I'm going to fold that over. Okay, so it kind of made like a pleat right there. Okay, so now I'm going to do that to this one. This one's still sticking up quite a bit, but there's no way that I could stick my finger in there and find the middle and glue it to the box. I just couldn't do it. So we're just going to glue it over. Now when I do um, a bigger one like that, I glue on the inside and I glue off to the side and then fold it over and press. See? And it's like kind of a pleat you've got now. 
And so we're just going to keep going around the box like that. Here's another one. I can't really get glue in it. It's too um, small, so I put the glue to the side. And we press it over. So you see how it's that's just starting to look so nice right there. Of course, I am going to cover the raw edge. Um, but if you've folded it over before you glued it down, you shouldn't... Um, you won't have to use a trim if you don't want to, but I prefer to. Okay, now I gotta pull this down a little bit so I can even get to where I need to glue here. Okay, so on this one, I can't fit glue inside, so I'm just going to put glue on the side and then push it over. So you're really just making pleats basically, around the whole box. And so I'm gonna keep doing that. See, and then there's a little loop, but if I can fit the glue gun inside, I will, but like you can't, I can't even fit that. So that's gonna just be another on the side. All right, okay. We'll just keep going around like that. Um, like on this one, sometimes I don't have them all um, going in the same direction. Like right now, I've pushed them all down to go this way. But over here, there's like a lump right there. Like I don't know if I got a glue um, glob or what. So it's just going to look nicer if I glue it down to the other way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put glue on this side and push it that way. So it really doesn't matter. It's still going to be pretty inside. Put it in me. Put it in me. Okay. Pretty much I forget where I'm leaving off at. Okay. Come over here. annoying part. See, on this one, I can fit my glue uh, gun inside, so I'm going to give it a little glue inside and off to the side. Push it down. Yeah, now if I pull that out, I can see that it is also big enough for glue inside. Just gives extra holes in there. Prefer to do it if I can get the hot glue gun in there, I most certainly will. And it doesn't take a lot of glue because I'm not trying to have you know it real bulky, and you have to make sure that you press it down um, flat because you know how hot glue makes um, you know big old like big old lumps like it does all over this thing. So you're gonna have to press it down. So if you need to, you should probably put on those finger um, covers just to keep it from burning. Um, it's not really too bad for this fabric right here. That's why I don't have one on. Because I can handle it. I can handle it. But you need to really push it down flat so you don't get those lumps. I know it kind of seems like a long process, but it's worth it to me. I just think the box looks so beautiful, lined this way. It's just amazing. You know, when I found her tutorial, I was um, trying to make a Fabergé style egg. I failed miserably at it, but it was worth it just to learn how to do this. 
So I am thankful to her, thankful to her. I think her name is Irene. Um, I don't know, but I'll put the link below. So grateful. And her eggs were beautiful too, I mean, they were beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> This one is kind of um, lopsided. I glued one side. Oh, no, you can see it better from this way. It's glued up higher than it is down here, so it makes it just a little more difficult. So I'm going to try to move some of the bulk out of the way so that I can have a clear shot of what I'm doing. And I'll put this one in the middle and off to the side. Now it doesn't matter, of course, if it's completely um, even around because I'm going to be putting a trim in there to cover up the raw edge and to cover up the fact that I can't put things in straight. That's what trim's for. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to even get any glue in there, so I'm just going to glue it all down. Should be able to get in there. Close this place. Okay. Probably would have been easier to see if I didn't use white too. I just I ran out of I'm running out of satin lining. And I'm like on a spending freeze right now. I don't wanna I gotta use what I got. I can't buy what I want. I gotta use what I got. Okay, I think we're getting almost to the end. Oh, I found a big one that I can glue down in the middle. Sometimes they sneak past you. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Down to the last quarter. I'm finding her a little bit. Sometimes you have to scooch the bulk around so you can get a good view about what else you need to do up here. Okay. And because it looks so rouge, like you can't really make a lot of mistakes and that would be able to be seen by people. If you cover the top with trim, and the rest of it just looks like it's supposed to be like that. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, just a couple more. I got one. There's one left. It's a little bit big. I can fit glue on the side of it. The side. Press it down. Okay. See, now this is what it looks like on the inside. How pretty. How pretty.
pretty is that? And of course, if you don't like it as, as much as I do, you know, with as much fabric, just don't put as much fabric in it. <clears throat> but I love it. I love to open the box and just see it all whooshed like that. I don't even know if that's the right word, but whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And so now I will just put a trim around the edges to cover up the raw edge. And voila, pretty lined box.